Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a oxygen tutorial video for you. We are going to be building in WooCommerce and just looking over WooCommerce and oxygen together and seeing what we can do with the two platforms. Now today's video is super interesting and special because not only are we working in WordPress 6.0 for the first time, but also as the time of recording, oxygen 4.0 is officially out on full release. So we're gonna be building in that new platform as well. So let's take a look, get into it and see what we can do with WooCommerce and Oxygen. All right, so we've got our WordPress environment set up here. And if you want to know what plugins we have installed, check out our essential WordPress plugins for Oxygen video. We're going to have all of the things installed that we have in there with the addition of the WooCommerce plugin and the Oxygen WooCommerce integration. So there's a couple things I want to look at. The first thing is, of course, the product page. I want to see what sort of customizations we can do with that. I also want to look at the checkout and the cart. So let's uh, let's just start working on it. So we're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is create a sample product. So we've already installed WooCommerce and done our initial setup, uh, but we don't have any products lit yet. So let's go ahead and just create one. Uh, we're just gonna call this sample products. And I'm gonna fill in some stuff here, just so we have some visuals that we can look at when we're building with a template so we can we can actually see the different the different features that we have. So let's say this is on sale price. Um, let's say, let's give it a skew. Let's give it a low stock quantity. Um, we're not gonna be doing a whole lot with like the actual backend stuff, shipping or whatever. So let's not go ahead and worry about that. And let's add a short description. Cool. And the other thing we need is of course an image. So I've already gone ahead and taken an image here. This is a photo of the Sony ZV-1. Um, we're just gonna use that as our sample. So let's publish that product. All right, so let's take a look before we get started what we're looking at, um, what, what we're working with currently for the product. Uh, probably nothing, yeah. So we don't even have a template defined for products or anything like that yet. So let's go ahead and get one created. So we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna go to Oxygen Templates, and we're gonna create a new template and let's call this Single Product. I always like to name my templates either Single or Archive to coincide with what we have here. Uh, so we're gonna go down, we're gonna look for Products, and we're gonna publish this template. Now, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start editing the template within Oxygen. So let's go ahead and do that. And here you see the new Oxygen 4.0 uh, loading screen. It is significantly <laughs> cleaner and better looking than the, the previous ones. I'm definitely a huge fan of it. So we're not gonna be worrying about the header or footer or anything like that. So let's just kinda go ahead and add the default to WooCommerce elements and see what we're looking at. So let's go to uh, WooCommerce, well, let's, let's add a section first. Just give it a slight, slight background color. Then we'll go to WooCommerce and let's just add in the product builder. Um, and this is the default uh, product builder that uh, WooCommerce will develop for, or that Oxygen will create for you with WooCommerce. Um, so if all you want to do is have this, then you're done. <laughs> You've already gone ahead and done everything that you need to do. Um, but we have the ability to go in and actually customize this. So for example, if we wanted to let's say start with the product title, see now everything disappears. This is because we're now, instead of using the default product builder, we're going to go ahead and customize what we have here. So we're going to go ahead and just create a, a quick, um, product template. So let's add in a, uh, let's add in a div. And we are going to go with grid spacing and we're going to say, um, let's just do a two column grid. And we're gonna, we're, this'll be pretty pretty typical. It'll probably be pretty similar to what the original looked like. Let's put product images on the left and we're gonna go ahead and start putting the other, uh, you know what we need to do now is put a div on the right to have all that content together. And we're gonna go back to WooCommerce. Let's see, what are our options here? So we can go ahead and 
put in, let's put in a price. Let's put in product info. Oh, that's probably going to be our detailed info. So maybe let's not put it there. Um, let's see. Let's product stock. Product excerpt. That's going to be our short description. Let's go ahead and move our title into here. Let's put that inside of our div so our grid works properly. And we're going to change that from an H1. Uh, we're going we're gonna to leave it at H1 for SEO purposes. And we're going to set the... Uh, the font size, let's say two and a half, two and a half rem looks fine. And let's put the, the bottom or did I, did I do rem? Yeah, let's, let's do, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And we're going to set the margin bottom to 0.5. That should be fine. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom of all of these just to give us some somewhat consistent spacing. Cool. So I think let's move the excerpt up here. And that didn't get the bottom margin yet. So we've got the expert excerpt, we've got the price, we've got the stock. Let's see what else we can add in here. So this is really cool. The product builder is a super awesome tool within Oxygen because if you're building in WooCommerce, you can easily create custom templates without having to uh, go the traditional route of coding custom templates for WooCommerce, which is definitely um, a hassle and pretty annoying to have to do. So um, this is pretty cool. Let's see what's in the description. So this is our long description. Um, so that might not necessarily want to go here. Um, what else do we have here? Product tabs. This is going to include our reviews and that kind of stuff. So let's put that uh, underneath. Perfect. Let's make sure that's not in the in the div there because I don't want that to be a part of our of our grid. Perfect, and let's let's space that out a little bit. Uh, yeah, two em looks fine. I'm gonna go back into our div here now. If you if you notice these icons in the structure pane, uh, I mentioned this in the previous video, but this is a part of Hydrogen Pack that also allows me to do some right clicking. So if you do see me do any of that, that is a part of the Hydrogen Pack add-on plugin for Oxygen. So product meta is going to be our our SKU and our category. See if we can get that to, this is the one thing or one of the things that can be super annoying about oxygen. Um, you just, it doesn't always behave the way that you want it to. Uh, sometimes it is easier to use the structure pane to, to drag things around and organize things because sometimes you just don't get it to behave the way that you want it to. Let's see, we're going to need an add to cart button. Perfect. So the add to cart button looks like it's including the stock amount. So I think what we're going to do for now is let's just remove the, the product stock uh, element because it because that's being included already. What else do we have? Product rating. That's good. So we don't have a product rating on this product, but let's go ahead and stick it under the title just as like a... Um, placeholder for in case we did have reviews there's so many so many parts of this that are just really really useful um big fan of this breadcrumbs always good to have those for seo purposes like put those above the um oh, i don't want those outside of the product builder let's put those uh, there that'll be good uh, we want to space those out just a little bit All right, what else do we have? So inside of the WooCommerce um, list here, so obviously you can see all of the fields for the single product. Um, these are some of the ones that we've been adding already. Uh, we also have the ability to do our archive and product list pages. So this will be for the main shop page, your categories pages, all that kind of stuff, uh, which is great. We're not going to be building one of those today. But then you also have the WooCommerce pages. These are really cool. Um, because you can actually customize the checkout and shopping cart uh, so much easier than you can with almost any other theme that I'm familiar with. So uh, using WooCommerce with Oxygen, honestly, is probably one of the best ways to use WooCommerce simply because of this uh, customization level that you get. So here's the, you know, the basic product page that we can go ahead and create. And it, it looks pretty good compared to... Um, 
well, not compared to. I mean, it's it's pretty much the this is pretty much the sample uh, WooCommerce product layout. We didn't do a whole lot of custom stuff there, but it's nice because, for example, if we wanted to go in and, and change the uh, the add to cart button, you know, we can we can go ahead and change the background colors on that. Uh, you know, if we had global colors to maybe match some of that stuff, we could we could make those changes as well. So it's nice to have that ability to customize all this kind of stuff easily. And the nice thing is because we're building this in the template, obviously, rather than the individual product page, that this is going to apply to all products if we end up adding more to the site at a later point. So now that we've got a product page in place, what happens if we click Add to Cart? Uh, sample product gets added to our cart. And we view, and here is our cart page that obviously needs some updating. Um, so we're not going to go ahead and do a template for this because this is the only page that is going to have this uh, this new layout that we're going to design for it. So again, let's add a section, give it a little bit of a background color, and let's see. Let's check out the WooCommerce cart page. This is right here. So this is awesome for WooCommerce to be able to have these, um, all of these abilities to be changed here so easily is why I love Oxygen when building with WooCommerce so much. Um, you know, just the ability to, to change the styles this simply um, s compared to any other builder that I've used, whether that's uh, WP Bakery or uh, Beaver Builder or Elementor, just the ability to do this is just really, really cool. So again, for example, if we wanted to change the primary button color and we can do that, um, we have the ability to change uh, the main color of our back of our tables, which is great to match your themes. Um, table headers, you know, if we need to change the font sizes, make them really big for whatever reason. Um, it is so, so useful to be able to do all of these things. So if you're building in WooCommerce, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Um, there's a ton of really useful tools within here. So um, we also have the ability to basically all these things. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but we can customize all this kind of stuff, which is super, super cool. So cool. We've got our cart page made. Let's proceed to checkout. And of course, our checkout page is not made. So let's go ahead and do that one. So we're going to go checkout. And section. WooCommerce. Checkout. The default WooCommerce uh, cart checkout product pages are not necessarily my favorite in terms of visual design. So if you're looking at a platform like uh, Shopify, I think that their aesthetics for this kind of stuff looks a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. Um, but there are lots of functionality um, you can get with WooCommerce that w with various plugins and stuff like that that you might not be able to get with some of those other things. Um, but especially when you're using a tool like Oxygen to be able to edit all this kind of stuff, you really can pretty much make it whatever you want it to be. So uh, you don't need to worry too much about the visual aesthetic of it because you can, again, change all of this stuff, which is super, super cool. So let's change, save the checkout page. And now one thing that I did notice is there's a there's a element for order tracking. And I don't know if that is by default a WooCommerce uh, feature. So let's go ahead and see what that would look like. Let's go ahead and edit the page. Add a section. And we're going to go to order tracking. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen this as a default WooCommerce feature. I, I, I don't build extensive WooCommerce sites too often. So uh, if this is a, a built-in WooCommerce feature, I'm not aware of it. But um, it is pretty awesome to have the ability to, to edit this. Now, I do wish that this would just be built in when you go to your My Account page. Um, so you could just click and track your order from there. And I'm not sure if that's a, uh, a thing that WooCommerce is natively supporting yet. And let's check out the account page uh, tabs as well, or element as well. So let's see. 
doesn't look the best, but of course I haven't really updated any of the colors yet. So yeah, no order has been made. I would assume, excuse me, that if I've made an order, I would be able to go in here and go to the order tracking page if I had that set. So it's pretty cool. Um, but again, I'll, I'll, like, like I said, these the layouts and the designs of this are all stock WooCommerce. We're really just editing the product page is the main thing that we have the ability to really edit the layout of. We don't have a cart builder or a checkout builder or anything like that. So hopefully that might be a feature that SoFly and Oxygen end up adding to uh, the WooCommerce tools. I don't know how uh, possible that is with the way that the plugins are created. So that might not be a possibility, but it would be super, super awesome to have. But the ability to change the product layouts, the single product page uh, template is really, really nice with that product builder. So so this has just been a quick look into Oxygen 4.0 with WordPress 6 and the WooCommerce integration uh, with that. So hopefully you got something out of this video. I want to do some more looks at Oxygen in the future, so stay tuned for some of those.